Do you want to know what pisses me off? All right, so that Lion King remake. I saw it last night, and it's not like that I want to go into it hating the movie. I wanted the movie to be good. I wanted to give the movie a chance. I didn't want the movie to suck ass. Even though I was extremely nervous because the original Lion King has had a special place in my heart ever since when I was just a little kid. I grew up watching the original on VHS a crap ton of times as a kid. And then I even grew more a appreciation for the movie as a teenager and now as an adult for personal reasons. Then when I, when I heard the announcement that Jon Favreau was going to be directing a live action remake of The Lion King, I was pretty hesitant. I, I was nervous because the original has a special place in my heart and that also, the, the original is a masterpiece. The original is as close to perfection as, as you can get. I mean, it, it did not need a remake, but I, but I was like, you know what, Jon Favreau blew me the Fuck away! I mean, John Favreau blew me so away with the original Iron Man and Jungle Book, like that. Fuck! I flew all, all, all the way to goddamn France by how much I he blew me the fuck away. So I was like, you know what? It seems like it's in good hands. So let's, so let's see and give it a chance. And then they announced James Earl Jones is coming back. I was like, hell yeah! Because he's so iconic as Mufasa that you just can't get anybody else that it just wouldn't be the same without James Earl Jones. So I saw the movie last night. I'm sorry. Like I said, it's not like I'm trying to hate the movie, but I'm sorry, but I was not impressed. I thought it sucked ass. Yeah, Hakuna Matata, more like Hakuna Mafaka. Where do I fucking begin? First of all, the voice acting was fucking atrocious. It seems like John Favreau never even bothered to do a second take. Like, so what? So what? He was, so what? Is he like Ed Wood now? Where just one take and oh, that's it? We don't even need to do a second take because second takes are for fucking pussies. Like, there was no emotion into any of the voice acting, even from James Earl Jones. And when it's James Earl Jones, you know that it was the direction. John Favreau, what the fuck, man? What the fuck happened? You did Jungle Book and Iron Man. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. You ruined the Lion King. Maybe with Hakuna Matata playing in the background it might cheer me up. But I'm sorry, man. This remake was so disappointing that I and everyone's been saying, oh, well, the visuals were fantastic. Yeah, the visuals looked great, but of course they fucking did. It's a high budget mainstream movie. Disney has all the fucking money in the world, so of course it looks good. But, but the, but the realistic looking visuals do not save the fucking movie. I'm sorry, they don't at all. And maybe Lion King worked better as an animated movie and not to look super realistic. Kind of like what Jeff Goldblum said, we are so caught up with that we, that we could and we didn't stop to think that if we should. Because when it's animated, you can get away with the, with, with the animals having with having humanistic emotions to them and, and that really worked for the for the original movie being so emotional here during the emotional during the emotional stuff from the original it just it just didn't land as well because the voice acting was terrible and i just i know that, that the point is that the animals are supposed to look realistic but i'm sorry i just didn't get any emotion from them and this is the fucking Lion King! It's supposed to be full of emotions! And Seth Rogen can't fucking sing, okay? So, I can see why they cast him, because it was pretty good casting. But for fuck's sakes, if he can't sing, is there really that much to ask for to just dump him? And Chuto Edgeport has Scar, I'm sorry, but... 
I wanted to give him a chance. I know he's not Jeremy Irons. I'm not saying that he's a horrible, despicable piece of poo just because he's not Jeremy Irons, but he was miscast as Scar. He was not menacing at all. And he's supposed to be the main villain. Man, Jeremy Irons is just as iconic as James Earl Jones as Mufasa. If you brought back James Earl Jones, you should have might as well have brought back Jeremy Irons too. And oh yeah, and be prepared. I I know it's gonna sound like that. Oh well, you just can't please everybody. So I know I bitched and moaned when they took out when they announced they're gonna take out. Be prepared. And we got the song, but like a half-assed version of it. I just, for fuck's sakes, when we said we wanted to be prepared, we thought it would have been cool to see, you know, the hyenas marching and, and all that, and like the shadow silhouette in, in live action. But we got a half-assed version of it. It was so underwhelming. It was nowhere near as powerful, nowhere near as, nowhere near as visually cool as it was in the original. And the song numbers, pretty much the same thing. It's like, in the remake, it's pretty much just the, the animals just walking and running around. I know that you got that in the original, but in the original, you got more than just that. You, you, you got a ton of other beautiful visuals and other things to go with it, to add to it. To make it less boring. But here, there was no life to the to the songs. There was no life to the fucking movie. I should might as well call this the the lifeless Lion King. And during Can You Feel the Love Tonight, it's set during the day. So wait, 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 so that defeats the whole purpose of the title of the goddamn song. So what? Can you feel the love this afternoon? I'm so upset that they fucked up the Lion King because I, well, I'm not trying to be redundant. It's a, such a special place in my heart. Hell, I love the movie so much, I named my own goddamn dog Simba. And that's really ironic because I named my dog after a pussy cat. And during Mufasa's death, it was nowhere near as visually, as visually dramatic. And the voice acting really hurt it. Like, the, the, the cinematography was nowhere near as good as the original. It was less impactful than the original. So therefore, it took away from that powerful moment from the original. And during that scene when, when the hyenas are chasing Simba and Nala as cubs, the, the, the music was nowhere near as intense. And it's composed by the same fucking guy, Hans Zimmer. What the fuck, Hans Zimmer? What the fuck? Oh my god. Was John Fowler just that stressed out from doing a remake of The Lion King? He was that afraid of fucking it up? Well, if you were that afraid of fucking it up, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this is why we don't, we never... Needed a fucking goddamn motherfucking remake of the Lion King. Because it's already perfect the way that it is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And people have been arguing, oh well, they remade it on Broadway. Doing it on Broadway, adapting it to Broadway is a lot different than doing another movie version of it. With all that aside, there were a few things that I liked about the movie. Like... I liked the scene when Nala was trying to run away from Scar to, to go find help. That was intense. And a few f somewhat funny moments. But other than that, yeah, not, there's, I'm sorry, but there's just not really a whole lot of praises for this movie. And during the circle of life, you don't get that cool scene of behind Zazu and, and, and you know, and you know, and like that cool. Uh, fuck, what's a like that? Well, like that cool pan and that cool pan shot. You don't get that. Instead, it's just the oh, the camera just just turns left. What the fuck? It wasn't as powerful. 
And I could have swore that the girl singing was the same girl from the Broadway version of The Lion King. If so, that was a pretty cool nod to the Broadway version. And there were so many other parts in the in this remake that were, you know, reenacting scenes from the original that just were not as effective as it was in the original. I could go on and on and on, but I made my fucking point. This remake was unnecessary. Need never need to fucking happen. One man, I've man, I'm so fucking pissed off that they fucked up the Lion King. I'm god damn it! How could they? How could they do this to the Lion King? But look, if you like the movie, fine. But I strongly disagree. Man, I'm fucking done with these live action Disney remakes. I'm not gonna watch Mulan now. I'm not gonna watch any of them fucking now. Cause I'm fucking done. Lion King was the last fucking straw. And also, during that, during that awesome badass moment the, during the original Lion King, when they played that kick-ass Busta song, in in the remake they replaced it with that shitty poppy song from Beyonce called Spirit. Oh man, that was so cringy. And they put it during the end credits too. Fuck. Fuck, man. You replaced. Busa, that kick-ass song with that shitty pop song? Oh yeah, Timon's right. Disaster's definitely in the air with that shitty-ass remake! Fuck, man. That remake left a scar on me. Yeah? Well, be prepared to not go see this piece of shit. The filmmakers were no, clearly not sympathetic enough for us. Man, at least I got the original. At least I still got the original. And they took away so much from Rafiki, like, you know? He wasn't as funny in this. Look, I, I wasn't asking for a shot-for-shot shot remake, even though a lot of it kind of did feel like that anyway, but just not as good. I was at least wanting a decent movie. This is not, fuck. Man. Fuck, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, can you feel the love tonight? More like, can you feel the unnecessary remake tonight? The PC original brings. The world for once could really use some original ideas. Fuck this piece of shit! Damn it. Lack of originality they have. And if they come up with original ideas tonight. It can be assumed Their original idea days With us are history In short, the original Lion King Is doomed Fuck! They fucked up my childhood, man. But at least I still got the original why like I've been emphasizing. But yeah, don't waste your time and money. Skip this fucking remake. Just watch the original. Be prepared to skip this unnecessary remake. Be prepared for some sensational news that you're wasting your time by watching this movie. And Oh, I just can't wait for you to skip this piece of shit. Watching this remake, I'm sorry. We're, we're going to compare it to the original, whether you like it or not, because it's a remake of a beloved classic. I, I was just wishing I was watching the original instead.
Okay, how about instead of remaking a movie that's already great as it is, why don't you remake a piece of shit and make it good? But that's too much to ask for now, is it? <laughs> John Favreau, kiss your career goodbye. But anyways, I'm out. Have a nice fucking day.